Okay, the, the West Ham Aces transfer saga continues. Um, Tony Henry claims that he was given permission to email the Daily Mail with their transfer policy on African players. Um, from And he was also given the green light to continue with this policy um, by members of club management. So now West Ham are in full crisis mode. Panic. It's gone over Twitter. All loads of African players, past and present in the Premier League and in Europe, have voiced their support for the West Ham players. Some of the West Ham and there's rumours of now discontent in the dressing room players possibly refusing to play on the weekend. Um, of course, the FA will find these players if they refuse to play. They will actually get a fine if they go on strike, which I find highly ironic because they're protesting their right to equal treatment. Uh, so the FA kick it out campaign is clearly working so well. It is another PR disaster for West Ham. Their move to the Olympic Stadium has not gone smoothly. Solid and Gold have caught a controversy over the years they've been in charge, not just West Ham but also Birmingham City back in the day. Um... They've sucked one of their managers this season. Their league form is not great. They're out of the cup competitions. Uh, it goes. This this is just one negative story after another. They, they they I don't know what they do. They've suspended the Tony Henry in charge of player recruitment. He's suspended. There's another uh, member of staff under investigation. In linked with this, there's an internal investigation. They, they say this is not within the standards and ethos of the club. We're an inclusive club, regardless of age, race, gender, sexuality, blah 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 blah. The, the constant PR spin that a organisation will put out after a scandal of this sort. This comes in the wake of the women's England team sacking of Mark Sampson, the racism scandal there, the Me Too campaign of sexual harassment in the workplace, and the Harvey Weinstein. Um, this comes in the wake of so many. Equality scandals, bullying, harassment, equal pay. Oh, and then, just top it off, a bit of racism as well. Um, they could not have timed this any worse. I feel sorry for the West Ham fans. I've got a few mates who are Hammers fans. Uh, they're loyal. Um, but they weren't enamoured with David Moyes' appointment. They felt, some of them actually felt sorry for Billich. Some of them blamed the players. I should wear But something is rotten internally in that club. Um, because Henry wrote to player agent saying, do not, under any circumstances, if you've got, have you got any African players in your books who want to join us? Yep, yeah, no, they're not coming. He, he was talking actively to player agents and agent, uh, agent and, and um, player agency companies that you know, have players on their books saying, we don't want any, Af- any more African players. We now have a total transfer ban. And it appears that agents didn't raise a red flag going, that's A, against employment law, and B, that's racist. So that's two laws he broke in there. Not a single player agent went, that's wrong. That's not right. So there's a big problem here in football. Um, but what do you make of it? I think West Ham are in full crisis mode. Um, this is just a joke. But he did state that he had permission from the club to pursue this transfer policy. Oh, and he's worked with David Moyes before at Everton, so that doesn't help David Moyes' position. That makes it very difficult for him, and he's not a he's not a, a strange to controversy. Last year, he threatened to slap a female reporter and beat her up in a conference. So there you go. Um, uh, yet another dark day for West Ham Football Club. Um, as if the eighties with the hooligan problem wasn't bad enough, uh, and the negative press that comes with that, um, and the fact they've been relegated several times, uh, and and the fact that they've moved stadium and the fans aren't happy and. They've had issues with the stadium, with security, and it's been a bit of a farce, and poor league form, and uh, other issues. It's just been constant problems for West Ham the last couple of years. And this is just another bit about PR, and their press department must be ripping their hair out, because their human resources department clearly has racist beliefs, and they must be going, oh, how the hell are we going to get out of this one? Uh, I don't even think... uh, any publicist could save them from this. Uh, it's all over. The, the, the media's snowballed. It's all over Twitter. It's exploded. Um, some of the, uh, There's six African players left at the club. They might all down tools and refuse to play. And guess what? They're all first-team regulars. Um, if they all said, no, we're not playing, we refuse to play for you, this club is racist, West Ham has a problem. But we'll have to see what happens. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts on the matter. And I'll have some more videos for you soon.